One of Robin City Council members think they have a solution to a problem with some of their youth. Since juvenile incarceration laws changed, they've noticed some of the same kids are repeatedly getting into trouble. What do NBC's Alexa Rodriguez finds out how the Kids Journey program could put them on a better path. The city of Warner Robins may become the agent for the Kids Journey program in Houston County. That means that, that we funnel the money through us. Uh, we also will provide office space. Kids Journey brings a number of organizations together. You've got the health department, Houston Medical, the school board, the cities, the county, juvenile courts, and we put all of our resources together. All to accomplish one goal to try to take these juveniles and change their lives. The program would provide different activities after school to make sure kids are working toward a better future instead of a life of crime. We'll take them to jail, but we have to release them to the parents or grandparents. And usually within 45 minutes, they're back on the streets again. A similar program out of Hawkinsville called Life League has been extremely successful in turning high-risk young lives around. 100% of the kids, after they went through our program, they said that, Life League did teach them something positive and that if they were not in Life League, they would probably doing, be doing something negative. Life League started as basketball games every Saturday and quickly turned into a life skill program for the youth in that area. Get them haircuts. Let me get you in a suit. I want you to, to see yourself as a successful human being rather than just a juvenile delinquent. Both Life League and Kids Journey are a way to mold young minds into our community's future leaders. The child that we affect in this program, it could be the one that cures cancer, a teacher, it could be a police officer, it could be our next mayor. In Warner Robins, Alexa Rodriguez, 41 NBC News. If council votes to be the agent for Kids Journey in Houston County, the state will give the city $45,000 to run the program. Council will vote at their next meeting on Monday.